yeah, so I just I just cut through a bunch of uh, blackberries, poison oak, and Scots broom like it was nothing with this this knife. It's supposed to be a, an El Cheapo. Uh, I don't know what the meat hook's all about, the Skinner hook, but now I'm kind of curious to find out how uh, how much this knife really can do. Uh, so I just saw a bobcat out here, and I just cut this this new trail uh, through all this this brush. Allergies. <laughs> Gosh, seasonal allergies are kicking in. That kind of sucks, but that'll pass. Uh, anyhow, I uh, just wanted to talk up the Camillus uh, Titanium Carnivore X. Really good knife, man. I was I was really surprised by how well this knife does out in the out in the brush for a cheap knife. It outperforms a lot of my machetes. Here you go, guys. Here's a nice big piece of Scots broom. Watch this. Bam. Bam. Just cut right through it. And uh, just hacking away. Man, it just takes most stuff out with one chop. And uh, clears a path. Super easy. Here, here's a good one for you. Here's a big one. Watch this. Bam, one chop, baby. Almost got two with one chop. That's a good knife. All right, guys, I gotta show you this saw. This is just too cool. Uh, I just filled my saw with pitch, but uh, I think it's still gonna work. Watch this, guys. This thing is great. Man, look at that. It just eats right through stuff. I love this thing. Look at that, man. I never would have thought that a, a cheap knife like this would just work as well as it does. But man, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I'm I'm kind of without words right now. This this thing, <laughs> I can't believe how amazing this thing performs for as cheap as it is. Yeah, now a lot of us guys that are kind of more on the woodsman side than the road hunter side, <laughs> which uh, I like to be a little bit more than a road hunter. Uh, we like to kind of traverse back into the backwoods here and <clears throat> make our own trails ahead of time. Make your own trails, and you can traverse those trails. You're off from where everybody else is going to go, and you can set your traps and set up your cameras, whatever you need to do, and most of the time they'll be in peace because what you do is you leave the outside of the trail thick so that people don't recognize it as a trail and then kind of open it up as you advance. So that's why I'm a big fan and an advocate of machetes. And uh, I never thought that this thing would be a useful part of my tool collection, but it's proven itself today. I just cleared this whole big trail uh, full of Scots broom, poison oak, and blackberries like it was nothing. It, it really made it easy. And the nice thing that I like about this is I can already tell it's gonna fit uh, alongside my pack easy and be really light it's not it's not going to be heavy to carry on the trail at all for any kind of long distance so yeah that's i'm just talking this up uh wasn't a fan at first it's held its edge really nice it's still sharp and uh you can see it's got all kinds of gunk on it because i've been cutting like heck i don't talk up equipment unless it's proven itself in the field uh some of the stuff, if I don't like a knife, I'll I'll break it in half and throw it throw it away. But uh, but I can't say that because I've even tested the saw. And I thought the saw was going to be garbage. It doesn't look great, but man, even the saw performed well. So uh, carnivore carnivore X by Camillus, cheap twenty four dollar knife that works great. I bought it at a yard sale second hand, which. Uh, it was it had a little bit of rust on it i had to kind of bring it back from the dead and uh, it still works great hey guys so i just ran into a bobcat up here <coughs> and uh <coughs> i thought about trapping up here but i have to cut a whole new trail into this area i didn't really want to do it and i just happened to have this with me it sells for 24 dollars brand new so i thought oh, this camillus titanium has got to be a cheap knife not work too well but Man, it just made cutting this path so easy through all this uh, 
this uh, Scotch broom as like, wow, this is going to be a handy knife and it's light, light enough that you barely feel it. This is actually going to be a handy addition uh, to a lot of the tools I use out here. So I'm um, pleasantly surprised.